Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and in this video I will talk about isoenzymes or isozymes. First of all, what are the isoenzymes? So as the name indicate, iso means similar and enzymes. So these are the different forms of similar enzyme. So by the definition, the isoenzymes, these are those enzymes which have different structure but they catalyze the same chemical reaction. So as we are saying they have a different structure so what it means so the isoenzyme they generally they differ in the amino acid sequence and they catalyze the same chemical reactions so these are the isoenzymes or isozymes they were first described by rl hunter and clement market in 1957 and the isoenzymes also although they catalyze the same function or they say catalyze the same chemical reaction but they have different kinetic property like they have the different KM values. They are also regulated differently. Now, let's discuss some examples of these iso enzymes. So, first is lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. This enzyme, it catalyzes the reaction that it convert this lactate into this pyruvate molecule and you can say this lactate dehydrogenase enzyme it has five possible isozymes or isoenzymes like this ldh1 ldh2 ldh3 ldh4 and ldh5 so these are the five different isoenzymes of this ldh enzyme this ldh enzyme it has two monomer units which are repeated these are h and m here, this LDH1, it contain four subunit and uh, four all of this H type. So, H4 and this is present in heart and erythrocyte. In the case of LDH2, it has the configuration H3M, means it, ha it has three H molecules and one M molecule and it is also present in heart and erythrocyte. Then LDH3, it has configuration h 2 M2 because it has two H molecule and two M molecules. It is present in the brain and kidney. Next, LDH4. So its configuration is HM3. It is present in skeletal muscle, muscle and liver. And LDH5, it has configuration M4. It do not have any H molecule, so it will only have the M monomer. So here it is LDH5 present in the skeletal muscle and liver. Now the next enzyme is creatine phosphokinase which catalyzes the reaction of phosphocreatine to creatine and this creatine phosphokinase has three isoenzymes which are cpk1 cpk2 and cpk3 so this cpk1 it consists of two monomer that is bb and it is present in brain while this CPK2, it consists of 1B and 1M monomer present in heart. And this CPK3, it has both M monomer that is M2 and it is present in skeletal muscle. The next example of isoenzyme is alkaline phosphatase enzyme. This enzyme, it catalyzes the reaction of, you can say it, as the name indicates, it removes the phosphate. So here the substrate that is orthophosphoric monoester. And this alkaline phosphatase in the presence of water, it just remove this, you can say this phosphate molecule from the substrate as you can see. So it just cleave the phosphate or remove the phosphate and ultimately make the product which is alcohol here. So this alkaline phosphatase, it has six isoenzymes which are, you can say these isoenzymes, it, this enzyme is a complete monomer. But this isoenzyme, they are due to difference in the carbohydrate content, especially like sialic acid residues. These are the isoenzymes of this alkaline phosphatase. So that's all for today, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.